There can be few things as frustrating as looking into your aquarium in search of your red cherry shrimp only to find they're nowhere to be seen. No matter how hard you search, you simply can't find them. Have they died? Did someone in the tank eat them? Did they jump out of the aquarium onto the floor? The chances are your red cherry shrimp are all hiding and in this video I'll give you four reasons why your red cherry shrimp may be hiding and what you can do to solve the problem. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Richard and I've spent the last 30 years keeping and breeding freshwater fish and shrimp. There are many different reasons red cherry shrimp choose to hide and for the majority of those reasons, making a simple change within the aquarium can solve the problem and draw the shrimp back out into the open aquarium where you can enjoy them. Reason number one is predators. The most likely reason your red cherry shrimp are hiding is due to the presence of predator fish. Red cherry shrimp are well aware they are down the food chain and they also know many aquarium inhabitants will happily eat them given half a chance. Given that any fish with a mouth larger than the red cherry shrimp would be considered a potential predator, the vast majority of the fish we keep in our aquariums would think of red cherry shrimp as a decent meal. Red cherry shrimp are fast, but they can only move quickly in short bursts. They have speed but not stamina. If you've ever seen a fish approach one of your red cherry shrimp, you will no doubt have seen the shrimp dart backwards. Shooting backward at high speed is a red cherry shrimp's only method of defense. They can only shoot backward a few times before needing to rest. For our shrimp to survive in any aquarium with potential predators, we need to provide them with hiding places or line of sight blocks. If the shrimp can get out of sight of the predator, there is a good chance they can avoid being eaten. As such, by adding plenty of line of sight blocks, such as rocks, pieces of driftwood or live aquarium plants, we make the shrimp feel more safe and more secure, increasing the chances they will happily come out into the open aquarium. The next reason your red cherry shrimp spends all day hiding is due to a lack of hiding places. Now I appreciate this may sound counterintuitive, but the fewer hiding places that exist in an aquarium, the less likely the red cherry shrimp are to leave those hiding places. The best way I've found to explain this is to use the following analogy. If at your place of work there are only two parking spaces, you are unlikely to take your car out at lunchtime because you know there is a good chance when you return to work after lunch, your space will be taken. However, if there are dozens of spaces, you know it doesn't matter if you lose your parking space at lunch because there are plenty others to choose from when you return. Red cherry shrimp feel the same way when there is a lack of hiding places. They know if they leave the hiding place they currently occupy, there is a good chance someone else will take it and they will probably be without a hiding spot. Ironically, the more hiding places you provide for your red cherry shrimp, the more likely they are to come out and about. In my own aquariums where I keep red cherry shrimp, I also like to have several piles of rocks, a few pieces of wood, and as many plants as I can cram into the space. The more hiding places I provide my aquarium inhabitants, the more likely they are to feel safe enough to venture out into the open. Reason number three is because the red cherry shrimp might be molting. Red cherry shrimp are invertebrates. This means they don't have a rigid internal skeleton as we do, but rather a hard exoskeleton around the outsides of their body. The downside of a rigid external skeleton is that it does not stretch and grow as the shrimp grows, but rather, as the shrimp gets bigger, it has to pull itself out of its old exoskeleton, allowing the new, slightly larger exoskeleton underneath to become its new body. This process is known as molting. When red cherry shrimp are molting, they become susceptible to being eaten. When halfway through a molt, there is no way a shrimp can dart away if a predator fish approaches. This typically means that red cherry shrimp that are molting will tuck themselves away somewhere whilst they molt. Molting usually only takes a few minutes, but it can take several hours. During this time, the shrimp may not be visible. If your shrimp is hiding because it is molting, just leaving it alone for a few hours will usually result in the shrimp returning to the main aquarium, albeit slightly larger than it was before. Next up is because the red cherry shrimp are new to the aquarium. I was recently talking to a new shrimp keeper and he was concerned that he could not see any of his red cherry shrimp. When I asked him how long he had had the shrimp, he replied, about two hours. When any inhabitant is added to our aquariums, we have to give them sufficient time to work out where they are and who they're living with. It would be a bit like dropping you into a new city, somewhere in the world you were not familiar with and expecting you to find somewhere to live and make friends within the first two hours. In this instance, I advise my new shrimp keeping friend to give the shrimp a couple of days to settle in 
and lo and behold, when we spoke next, his shrimp were doing well and spent most of their time out in the open water. Now if you're finding value in this video, please take a moment to hit the like button. It helps show support for my work and spread this video to other like-minded people. The final reason on my list of reasons your red cherry shrimp may be hiding is because they are being kept in too small of a group. Whilst red cherry shrimp do not school like Tetras or Corydoras, they do seem to relax when in the company of other shrimp. I recently ended up keeping a single large female red cherry shrimp alone in a 5 gallon aquarium. She was very large and had distinctive markings so I could easily identify her. For about 4 weeks I never saw her once, I presume she had passed away. After the initial month I moved 20 more red cherry shrimp into that aquarium and to my surprise she immediately came out of her hiding place and was quite happy to be out and about in the aquarium all day long. If you find your red cherry shrimp are always hiding, try adding a few more shrimp to the mix. In my experience, the larger the group, the more relaxed and willing to come out into the open aquarium the shrimp appear to be. From time to time red cherry shrimp will tuck themselves away somewhere in the aquarium for one reason or another. However, on the whole red cherry shrimp are confident members of the aquarium that choose to spend much of their time out and about in the open water. Another question I'm frequently asked is why are my red cherry shrimp losing their colour? And I answer that question in the video linked on screen. Thanks for watching.